Hi guys, welcome to the channel to Rob Squad's Home Theater. As always, with your boy Jay. Hey y'all, it's your girl Amber. And I am ready for today's video because by the title, it sounds like it's gonna be full of action and I need some of that. Which is interesting because this movie was suggested so much for the holiday season. There's actually a really big debate on our Patreon of, is this a Christmas movie? Is it not? But we're still around the holiday season. I think it's a good time to check it out. If you are new here, hey, do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss Movie Monday or Film Friday. But as we always say, right before we get into the film, grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and your blanket. we are ready to get into this. Don't know a lot about it. Like I said, is it Christmas? Is it not? Like, but it's highly suggested. It That's is, all that matters. It is very <laughs> highly suggested, and I'm ready to get into some action. Die hard. Let's check it out. You don't like flying, do you? I seen a deal the other day that he's sick and it's getting like bad. Oh, I didn't know that. Your socks, then you walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. Never heard that tip before. Yes, sir. Better than a shower and a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm a cop. Trust me. Doing this for eleven years. <laughs> So, Christmas movie. It's set at Christmas time, but yeah. if you remember, there was a debate on his trading place as a Christmas movie because it was set at Christmas time. True. But it was not a Christmas movie to me at all. I feel for anyone who's traveling at Christmas time this year. I was just thinking that. Get out my head. Flights. Get out of my head. Going through it right now. All them Southwest flights. Actually, I was thinking more of mulled wine, an ice age free, and a roaring fireplace. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I don't think your game's working, brother. McLean Letters, who's from McLean speaking? Landline phones. Mm -hmm. And you'll be in bed when I get there, though. Let me talk to Paulina, okay, hon? And no. It would be terrible to work on Christmas Eve. Terrible. Is Daddy coming home with you? Oh. Both parents are working. She put his picture down. Hoping you can tell me. It's my first time driving a limo. <laughs> All right, so relax. We got everything in this mug, man. Look at this. He's, He's right, right up, up front. front. <laughs> Your friends have to trot. The bears got, got the back. You always ask us many questions, Argyle. <laughs> so you divorced? Just drive the car, man. Yeah, I mean, he's asking a lot of questions, though, Personal. for real. Got a six-month backlog in New York scumbags I'm still trying to put behind bars. I can't just pick up and go that easy. Mm. In other words, you thought she wasn't going to make it out here, and she'd come crawling up back to you. So why bother to pack, right? <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, our guy. You mind if we hear some tunes? Oh, look at that old cassette. This is Christmas music. <laughs> What? Hey. <laughs> Man, this is a good song. You run into each other's arms, the music comes up, and you live happily ever after, right? Ark. <laughs> You're all right, Argo. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. Yeah. <laughs> And he's got two little kids he's far away from. Oh, could you imagine? Mm -hmm. But I mean, having criminals that you're trying to get behind bars, mm -hmm. like that is a tie. But still, I couldn't imagine being away from my babies. Christ. Christ. She didn't put it under mm -hmm. her married last name. I hate awkward moments like that. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going home. So he went to her office mm -hmm. party. Hey! Merry Christmas! <laughs> In California. <laughs> it will be if we ever get it finished because server flows under construction. Finish. This place looks amazing. Mm -hmm. 
Well, let's... I was just making a call. This is uh, the nurse phone. I want you to meet John McLean. Oh, no. Yeah, you was hitting on it. That's right. Alice is hitting in charge that. of international development. Something else on the desk, too. <laughs> Missed something. Ugh. I get you anything? Water down, champ. No, thank you. I'm fine. I'd be like, why are you so comfortable to do this in my wife's office? Oh, it didn't work out, so we got you a tape deck. <laughs> On the watch. Later. It's just a small token of appreciation for all our hard work. It's a Rolex. <laughs> What's he doing? Is there a place where I could wash up? Sure. There's definitely some awkward tension between him and his wife. Yeah. I know homeboy that was sniffing them rocks on the desk. Mm -hmm. Cappy Roberts retired out here. Oh, yeah? Told me I could bunk in with him. Cappy retired. Aww. Sorry. So that's what's going on around this work yeah, office. Yeah, you yeah. guys to find a new job. <laughs> I guess you didn't miss my name though, huh? Except Yeah, about that. Mm-hmm. Mr. Nero, I excuse me. <laughs> Awkward. Speech time. Be back in a few minutes. Now he's got a point though. I I'd be pretty upset about that. Yeah, that's a lot mm. on a relationship. No, music. music just got yeah, ominous. Yeah, I, get out of my brain. It's a magic, then back to worthy, right? <laughs> Boom! Two points. So he came in and distracted him. We're in. What? We were just holly jolly at the Christmas party. And this guy just goes about it so casually. It's casual. Oh. What are they bringing in? I don't know. Why you gotta shoot the elevator man? Oh, they're rolling deep. Oh, he must be boss man. Uh oh. There's some crooked business going on or something. Because they're very, like, calculated, methodically mm. doing things, you know? Like, they didn't come in just, like, not knowing what they're doing. Right, they had this planned schematically. He's locking the elevators. Oh, the claustrophobia just got real. You can't get out. There's some sitting ducks in there. Oh. Oh, man. I'm gonna work my way down to floor one and throw a bust out a window. It's like they had to have even cased the place yeah. out to know, go here, go here, go yeah. here. Probably the inside the intel. They're German. He's speaking German, so mm -hmm. they're a bunch of German guys, I'm guessing. And this is an international mm -hmm. company. She mentioned that. Remember, he said they closed a big deal. Mm -hmm. He's doing a thing. He missed you, Tati. Where are you? I'm kicking it down the garage. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a teddy bear. Oh, I hope they don't get hurt. <gasps> the Argyle. garage was locked. The parking garage, they put the, the lock mm -hmm. on the door. Argyle? Back here? Hello? It's cut off all communication. Oh man. Oh man. Uh oh, 30 to 40. These dudes ain't playing. Oh, the Christmas party. Yeah. Oh, no. Maybe they must be dealing with something bad. Something international. Something bad. Oh. It's making my heart beat so fast. Mm. Babe. 
I can't. Shoot. The suspense. No, oh my gosh. I appreciate y'all for this, and this is my type of movie. <laughs> Joseph Yoshinobu Takagi. They're gonna find him. They are. They interned Manzana, nineteen forty-two to forty-three. They know everything about you. They obviously know what you look like. MBA, Harvard, nineteen seventy. God. They know everything. They are not about to do that right in front of all them people. But they said, he said power and greed. Mm -hmm. He said across the globe. I have no clue what he's done, really, though. What are they bringing in or taking? I didn't see what it said. I don't know, I didn't either. It's scary though, man. Them rich and powerful people, man. You never know what they're doing. For the breadth of his domain, he wept. Money makes you do crazy things. Mm -hmm. I always enjoyed to make models when I was in this. The attention to every consumer. Models are extremely cool. I could talk about industrialization and men's fashions all day, but I'm afraid work. And men's fashions. To Takagi, I'm really not interested in your computer. What does he want? I don't know. That's all. Get to the point. Six hundred and forty million dollars in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in your vault. Six hundred and forty million. Who said we were terrorists? They're moving like terrorists. Mm, man. But they move so professionally. Mm. He's brave. The code, please. Just took the silencer off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. Mm. The code. And they already seem ruthless. Get on the jet to Tokyo. That's the chairman. I'm telling you, you're just going to have to kill me. Okay. <gasps> Oh my gosh, he really did it. Tony, see if you can dispose of that. Carl, you better go and check on Heinrich's work up on the machine floor. Oh my gosh. You heard the shots. You're calling the police right now. Of course I'm still coming by later. Argyle. <laughs> Dudes are some assassins. I didn't hear you. I said these dudes are some assassins. Mm. Cold blooded killers. Yeah. yeah, that was cold blooded. You do understand the circuits cannot be cut locally. Trust me. Why the fuck didn't you stop him, John? Because then you'd be dead too, asshole. Yeah, they would have mm -hmm. got him. Mm -hmm. He's got a pistol, they got machine guns. He's one person. That guy in the gray is giving such Dahmer vibes with the hair and the, the glasses. The glasses. Oh, that was smart. Yeah, mm. he's trying to get the police to come. Oh, you stupid motherfuckers! No, no! Oh. That would be such a heart drop. It's just one. With the machine gun. The fire has been called off, my friend. He knows what he did. No one is coming to help you. Yeah, that's a lie. No, distraction. Drop it, dickhead. It's the police. It's the police. Mm. There are rules for policemen. That's what my captain keeps telling me. Oh no, you had to just do one no, of them. No, why did he just... Hmm? Why did he just shoot him? That's what I'm saying. He had to just go ahead and... You had to go ahead and get him. Because now they're making all this noise. All this noise. Dead. 
That's what I'm saying. If you was gonna kill him, you should have been a lot quieter. <laughs> you should have been a lot quieter. But I guess a gunshot would have been loud too. But there was already a bunch. You bet your ass! I wish to proceed. So he he already ha he got into one. This is so intense. So it's like hit one against so many. He has, there's nobody else there who can help him. Nobody. Nine million terrorists in the world, and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. <laughs> Guess he did do all that barefoot. And they, they just wanted to get home to their kids on Christmas Eve. <laughs> God, he's just in survival mode. I know. But it's cool that he has these skills, you know? It's very useful in this situation. But have no illusions. We are in charge. Oh, this is sick. And please remember, we have left nothing to chance. Now I have a machine gun. He That's talk, boss move. Talk about sending boss a message. Boss move right there. Talk about, he put a Santa. Babe. She knows. She knows. Nah, you got to have a certain knows. type of personality to do this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's making lists. List. What a boss. What? Like, he really thinks he can do this. He's like, okay, check one, check two, check three. <sighs> it's gonna be tough. Oh, elevator shafts creep me out. Mm. I'm still thinking about it. Said so now I have a machine gun. Ho ho ho. Tell me that was boss move. Man. Alter the plan. And if he alters it. Mmm. Did you think about that? Mm. Oh Christ! He can fuck this whole thing up. What does he think he's doing? His job. Bullshit. Dude's a hater. I wouldn't have told him nothing. Without him, we still have a chance. We might be able to get out of here. Oh yeah, I feel like he gonna snitch. I know. I don't like him already. I wouldn't have said nothing, but I don't know. Wow. There's nowhere to go. Being Channel 9. Terrorists have seized the Nakatomi building and are holding at least 30 people hostage. I repeat. That's the best place to transmit. Somebody answer me, goddammit. The roof. Why would he make sure they heard him? It's the same address as that fire station. Shh. Don't handle it. Oh, okay, so so they did hear him, though. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. No fucking shit, lady! Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> I would have done had it. Like, are you... <laughs> this sounds like a game. He's a little scared. One hostage. They are fortifying their positions while you're jerking me off on a radio. <laughs> channel. If this is an emergency call, dial... What does she, like, what does she think this is? Report me, come the fuck down here and arrest me. Just send the police now. Oh, shoot. Ah! Oh. See if there's a black and white that can do a drive-by. Twinkies. You know who that is. I think I said dad from... Urkel. Family Matters? Yeah. Family Matters? Yeah. He was a cop on that show too, mm. wasn't he? Eight Lincoln thirty to dispatch. I'm on my way. He said, "Dang, I was trying to get some snacks in." Mm. Oh my He can't gosh. see all this from where he's at. Oh shoot. Oh, okay, that's good. Did he get hit in the leg? <laughs> Do you know how brave you have to be to go through an industrial sized fan? I 
Oh, so has my heart racing. Ugh, this is a long drop. fall. Oh, what is man. he doing? Oh, man. Oh, I would not trust that. <laughs> Just inches. Ah. Uh -huh. But now he has no gun. Wow! 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 I thought there was no way out of that one. Fire he got from the first guy he killed. Come to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. Hmm. <laughs> I know what a TV dinner feels like. <laughs> oh! Close. Oh, man. This I don't like this. Oh. Talk about close. He keeps having the close calls. Ooh, don't go in there. I'm not going nowhere near the room. They mm -hmm. killed somebody else. Wonder? <laughs> I'm gonna go in for a closer look. Oh. Oh shit! Come on, I got fifty bucks bet on him, asshole. Definitely playing it cool. Oh, playing it up. Yeah, I'd be mad. Like this is what you, this is what you sent. Uh oh. You don't mind if I take a look around, do you? Nah, help yourself. He kind of looks like Huey Lewis. Mm -hmm. Can he hear it? None of the gunshots. Oh. 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 <laughs> what an angle. They said thanks mm. for the advice. So, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there. I'm not considering this a Christmas movie. <laughs> Yell out the window. Nah. Everything here is okay. Over. That guy was so close to that. Oh! Shit! God damn it, Peter! Is that crap? He said, hold on. Such a realistic reaction right there. There's some sh going on over here. Welcome to the party, pal. Welcome to the party, pal. Argyle. Argyle, man. No! No, goddammit, no! <laughs> <laughs> get out and run. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool right there. I'm on a big wall. Monica, I can get us a table. Wolfgang and I are very close friends. Wolfgang. Trying to get a Wolfgang and Punk. Puck? Is that what it's called? I'm in Nakatomi Plaza and turning my car into Swiss cheese! <laughs> Swiss cheese. <laughs> the Swiss cheese. <laughs> His energy is the correct energy, though. Oh, Y'all don't hey, get over here. They ain't turning much into some Swiss cheese. Pull up. Here we go. Oh, okay, I feel like some hope restored. That's what the cops are there. All of you relax. This is a matter of inconvenience. This is a hostage situation. I figured since I waxed Tony and Marco and his friend here, I figured you. He's killed 
agree. As if you are our mysterious party crash, we are most troublesome. For us he is the king of calm. The monkey in the wrench. The pain in the ass. <laughs> pain. Check on all the others. Don't use the radio. See if he's lying about. They came with like a lot of like. Was that an explosive? I don't know what that was. I'm afraid not. But you have me at a loss. You know my name, but who are you? Don't tell Just him. another American who saw too many movies as a child. <laughs> Rambo, Marshall Dillon. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. We know none of those references. No Rambo. Never seen it, but know the name. Stars Mr. Cowboy. He thinks he's no joke. He doesn't realize he's a New York cop. Good evening. This is Harvey Johnson. <laughs> the high tides Take truck number five. Get out of here. So he wants to cover this story. He wants that story, yeah. He wasn't lying about Marco. He's down on the street. And the other man was Heinrich. <laughs> and his bag is missing. He had to detonate it. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. Game yes. changed. Listen fast, this is a party line, the neighbors got itchy trigger fingers. It's a party line. We must find the bag, Fritz. Yeah, that bag seems to be of It's got that importance. detonator. They got missiles, automatic weapons, and enough plastic explosives to orbit Arnold Schwarzenegger. To orbit Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I hear you, partner. In LA's finest are on it. So light him if you got him. Where are you, partner? <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, my partner got three He's in the bag. He's a little smoke break. Call me... Roy. Well, listen up, Roy. Call me Night Fox. <laughs> they about a semi Ooh, up in there. We're rolling in deep now. Some nutcase in there? I don't think so, sir. In fact, I think he's a cop. How do you know that? A hunch. Things he said, like being able to spot a phony ID. Jesus Christ, pal. Give me a fucking bartender for all we know. <laughs> a bartender. <laughs> But he said something like it's a sticky situation and that something got trigger fingers. Like he was talking, like, you know. I can't really imagine a cop talk. I have a request. What idiot put you in charge? <laughs> you did. Personally, I pass on the job. I don't enjoy being this close to you. I would not want to go talk to him. Mm -mm. Mr. Takagi chose his people well, Mrs. Gennaro. Miss Gennaro. It's best he doesn't know. Yeah, no doubt. Of international terrorism. I know he ain't. Ago, an unidentified group of men he has no idea what's going on out, out, just outside having of him. the best time. All entrances and exits. No, he just heard him. <laughs> You've been there partying and then just up. realized like, oh my gosh. There's a whole terrorist attack yeah. going on where and I'm And I'm in it. Yeah. Well, what about the body that fell out the window? No, it's probably some stockbroker got depressed. We're ready for you. Come on, are we just gonna explain oh, everything away? If you are what I think you are, then you'll know when to listen, when to shut up, and. Mm. Fear, you are the eyes now. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I just laugh at Argyle. Oh, man. See, look at well, that candy can't even look too good. Hey, I'm, I can't knock him not one bit for that. You have that. to crunch by it, too. And our guy looks like a baby. Shut up. <laughs> Macho assholes. No, no! Don't do that. Was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring except the four assholes coming in the rear in standard two by two cover formation. Man, they're, they're gonna get this picked mm. off. Go, right. Let's do it. He told them not to do this. They're shooting at him. They're shooting at the lights. They're going after the lights. <laughs> he just told you that. Get him back! Almost in! Send in the car. Send in the car. This doesn't seem very well mm -mm. calculated. Not planned out very well. The bad guys are much more methodical and organized. The police have themselves an RV. He just sits there like so I calm. Do, yeah, he's just like... 
Rocket launchers. Are you kidding me? Who has rocket launchers? These dudes came like, I'm talking like professional assassins. Like, they knew what they were doing, what they were getting yeah. ready for. They knew what possibilities may come. Really? They fixed Let's just them. set this rocket launcher up like that. They fist blow that thing to bits. Okay, this is obviously going to send a message of who they're messing with. Oh my god, the quarterback is toast. Okay, I really can't stand that guy. Fire. Ruthless. Fuck me. Yeah. Let's go! Look at what they've done. They should have listened to him. Oh, it's C4. It is a bomb. What in the world is he doing? Geronimo, motherfucker. Oh my gosh. What? Holy cow. What? Ooh. The idiot. It's not the police. It's him. Him. That guy, I can't place him. I feel like, is he the is he the principal in Breakfast Club? Like, I can't place him, but there's something he might about be. him that looks no, the, familiar. The captain guy? The captain, the leader. Yeah. He's in something. He's in something. He's in <laughs> the reporter said tell me you got the thing that Gruber had been expelled from that organization. Ow, ow, do you So they know because he called him Hans. I spotted say you got two with that blast. Is that him? Is that him? Yes, sir. I think he is the principal in Breakfast Club. I feel like that's what he is. But you just destroyed a building. Now we do not want your He does help. not care. Is that clear? We don't want your help. You need his help here and they're covered with glass glass who gives a shit about glass who the fuck is this <laughs> well i got some bad news for you Dwayne. from up here that look like you're in charge of jack shit <laughs> <laughs> i'm not the one who just got butt fucked on national tv Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> told him how you feeling pretty fucking unappreciated out <laughs> you hang in there yeah thanks partner is he serious? It's... Waiting to see who gets us killed first, them or your husband. You. You're gonna get you killed. Hey, frickin' see talk, huh? He's so overconfident and annoying. Dead. Hope I'm not interrupting. Ugh. It's not what I want, it's what I can give you. He's gonna, Jeez, he's gonna sell her so out. Man. It's a difference. Let's put it in my terms. You're here in a hostile takeover. The more he talks, the more I can't stand him. I can't stand him. Pill was gonna be running around in the building. Am I right? Am I right? <clears throat> I can give him to you. What is wrong with him? What, a what is bag. wrong? There's always one little dweeb, you know? <sighs> always, one always dweeb. one. What did I put in these things anyway? Sugar and rich flour, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. He knows because he likes Twinkies. Well, now that's a date, but uh, you're gonna have to bring the ice cream. I just can't believe dude's about to snitch on him, man. Or should I call you Mr. McLean? The sellout. He knows. The New York Police Department. What a freaking. Mmm. The friends call me John. You're neither shithead. <laughs> this dude. Can I. Can I choke him? Like, Homer Simpson? Ellis, what have you told him? I told him we were old friends and you were my guest at the party. What a f mm. Doing this. Tell me about it. Huh? Like, I'm afraid if he tells him anything because he's got kids and they're mm. so grimy and dirty. I want the detonators or they're gonna kill me. What a jerk. Hans, this asshole is not my friend. I just met him tonight. I don't know him. Jesus Christ, Ellis, these people are going to kill you. Tell them you don't know me. <laughs> John, how can you say that after all these years, huh? John. John. <laughs> he got himself in this situation. <laughs>
He put himself in that situation, though. He should have stayed his tail outside he with everybody else. He walked in there with too much confidence. <laughs> but he didn't tell him anything. But his name. Can't you see what's happening? Can't That's you cold. read between the lines? Can you read between the lines? They'd be talking to us. Listen, you tell this partner of yours, pal, to stay the hell out of this from now on. He is a dummy. Yeah, I'm saying. Tired, and he hasn't seen diddly squat from anybody down here. Voice of reason. Following people are to be released from their cap in Northern Ireland, the seven members of the new Provo Front. He's making demands. Where they will be given further instructions. You have two hours to comply. What? Wait, wait a minute, uh, Mr. Gruber. I this is crazy. I, I, this is nuts. I can't authorize. Two hours is not enough. Hello? 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 Do you think they'll even try to do it? Who cares? Are we on schedule? One more to go. Then it's like, he really just wants them to waste their time. Yeah, that's it. Hunt that little shit down and get those detonators. <laughs> well, it's going to be both our asses if you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. But John didn't ask for none of this. He came to see his Man, girl. It's Christmas. He <laughs> came to see his kids. Yeah, his girl and his kids. The FBI is here now? Yes, sir, right over there. Hold this. Now, he wanted the FBI to get there, mm -hmm. then the bad guy. Hunt? I'm Dwayne Robinson, LAPD. I'm in charge here. Not anymore. Yes. Okay, thank you. Really didn't feel good with Finally him being get in someone who maybe has a little sense. No way. Hi there. Uh-oh. No way. <laughs> no way. Shoot him. What the fuck are you doing up here? What were you looking for? I managed to get out of there, and uh, well, I was just trying to get up on the roof and see if I could signal for help, you know. I thought that was the bad guy. It is. I said forget the roof. I got people all over. Come on, you want to stay alive, you stay with me. Does he not know? He doesn't know how well, he doesn't looks. know what he looks like. Well, the best, the best way we can figure it is we've what? got 30 or 35. What a twist. We'll handle it from here. When we come and do your men, we'll try and let you know. <laughs> Try that you know. He might be a cop. I don't know. We're checking on that. One of yours? No way. That's it. Two smokes. You smoke? Yeah. This is so weird. You don't work for Nakatomi, and if you're not one of them, I'm a cop from New York. Mmm. <laughs> I don't like this. Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. Better be called your pants down, huh? <laughs> oh, I don't like this. I'm John McClain. <gasps> You're, uh... Clay. Bill. Now to use a handgun, Bill. Amber. You know that game with the guns that shoot red paint? Kind of stupid to you. Come on, like... No. Holy cow, I can't. He will. He will pull the trigger. You just put the gun in his hand. <laughs> no. What? Did you trick him not put any bullets in there? And give me my detonator. No, he had just cocked it. Hans, put it down. It's pretty tricky with that accent. You gotta be on fucking TV with that accent. Yeah, his name was Clay. Clay. I'm going to count to three. Like you did with Takagi. So he didn't put any. I, I, I knew he had to. You were saying? Oh, you should have this. You should have capped him while you had the chance. He should have got Hans when he was down on his knees. Oh, I had her kneecaps. Caps. Oh my gosh, just letting it rain bullets. So much gunfire. Oh, across all that. He has glass. no shoes on. He knew if he shot the gunfire, the glass, that he would have no shoes. He can't walk across it. Oh, flashbang. Just McLean's name, badge number, employment record, vital statistics, and his family's home address. Gosh. Right here in LA. Why are you so stupid? They're gonna put that on air? Like. Go 
God, that man looks really pissed. He's She's like, good. <laughs> she knows. Like, I know who can frustrate someone Only like that. Can drive somebody <laughs> Oh, oh, I sweet. can't. Gosh, stop. It's the glass. Chalk up two more bad guys. Well, the boys down here will be glad to hear that. I just can't think of a glass in his feet. Mm. What kind of odds am I getting? You don't want to know. Sorry. Oh, I didn't look. I won't. Shoot. Not about mm. that. No. Something had to get you off the street. What's the matter? You don't think jockey and paper? <laughs> I had an accident. Drive, I can see why. These, the relationship they've built is kind of cool. Through radio. I shot a kid. Mm. It was dark, I couldn't see him. He had a ray gun look oh. really awful. You know, when you're a rookie, they can teach you everything about being a cop except how to live with a mistake. Being a mm. cop has got to be so oh. hard. Make decisions like, hope you make the right one. The circuits that cannot be cut are cut automatically in response to a terrorist incident. You so, for miracles, dear, I give you the death. He said... I, oh, remember the whole time he said, don't worry about that last like I got it? Mm -hmm. well, he knew the FBI was going to cut the power to it. Blocks, Jim. Yeah. Johnson, that's crazy. It's Christmas Eve, man. Mm. Authorization? Yeah. How about the United States fucking government? Hey. Mm. Or you lose your job. Shut it down. Shut it down now. Jeez. That's a mistake, though. They got the universal terrorist playbook, and they're running it step by step. The playbook that Hans knows. Yeah, so he's going to act accordingly. Wow. They really orchestrated all of this. They broke through all of them. Can't really. I can't believe they just like played into the plan. Dude is too smart. Mm -hmm. They spend a month sifting through the rubble, and by the time they figure out what went wrong, we'll be sitting on a beach, earning twenty percent. Dude, I mean, he's a bad guy, but he's brilliant. I'm here, John. Listen, man, I'm starting to get a bad feeling up here. I'm getting a bad feeling too. Been more supportive, and uh, I just should have been behind him more. Oh. He's got to make it all I the mean, way through. But, he's got to. He's realizing, like, her dreams matter, mm. too. But you can tell her that yourself. Just watch your ass and you'll make it out of there. You hear me? Mm. John. What the fuck are you doing upstairs, Hans? He just thought about it. No. All right, okay, all right, all right, all right. Get back, get back. Get back. Oh, This is the last time these kids are going to have to speak to their parents. Wow. All four views. Dirtbag. These kids on Christmas Eve. Making around with a straight cut up feet. Oh, look at all that C4. Holy cow. Oh, God. He said he was going to blow the roof off of it. banged up feet. He he does not go down without a fight. Dang. Mm, giving <laughs> him the works. Ooh. Mm. You know your mom and dad are very important people. They're very great. This part is going to drive me nuts. Not the babies. Freaking media. Not us to make your acquaintance. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad. <coughs> mm. Dang. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> ruthless. <laughs> That's ruthless <laughs> as hell. He's been ruthless the whole time. But they got his wife now. That what man? I'm coming. They take you. I'm coming. Well, Earp saying uh, tombstone. I'm coming. I'm bringing hell with me. I'm there. He's gonna kill all those people in the helicopter and blow the helicopters up. No! Oh. Mm. It's like it's been intense the whole way through. Whoa. Mm. And since I'm moving up to kidnapping, you should be more polite. I heard his feelings got him a common thief. This guy just like does this like drop kick every single time. <laughs> Dang. Uh oh. Oh. Ooh, ah. Gosh, dog. Oh, these dudes. The FBI just thinks they're bad, A. Well, like, they like he said, they're hurt. literally going by the playbook. So they know what to expect from them at this point. Mmm. <laughs> Where is the boss? The 30th floor. What's the stairs? They just Go get her. Mm. Get down. Get the fuck down. Get down. Get down. He's not a terrorist. He's trying to help y'all. Go! No! No! You know how frustrated this guy's gotta be? Oh. What in the world is he doing now? Oh, John, what the fuck are you doing? Right. Blow the roof. The car's up there! Blow the roof! Uh. It's all building again. Oh. Oh my. Literally jumped off right. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh shit. Maybe mm. his bloody foot. He's trying to kick in the window with it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, give me a break. Give him a oh. break. Come on. Ah. I can't. The building is coming down. Nuts. Gonna need some more FBI guys, I guess. <laughs> oh. Don't tell me Argyle is gonna play a part in something after all. What the fuck is going on? They're leaving in a, a... An ambulance. Two shots. Oh, Argyle, you should have stayed where you were at. I, I, yeah, you are I not just, built for this. I just wish Argyle would have hit. <laughs> I'm going to be real. Okay. But they got guns and Argyle's locked in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad somebody finally punched him. Oh, I, I did not like him. Mmm. Wow. Jesus. He has She's been, like, what has he been He's been through, through it. Saving the world. At least it's felt like it. 
Well, you ain't done nothing the whole movie. You don't get to take no shots. Picaille, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> He used the Christmas tape. <laughs> oh! Oh! Shit! Happy trails, Hans. Yippee-yay, yippee yippee yay mother! Girl, you let his tail fall! He's holding on to her. She oh. held it on to him. Oh, slip that, witch, that wrist off. Or that watch off your wrist. Please don't hurt him. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a long fall. Well, I've never been hostage. so happy to see oh, someone fall to fall. their demise. You thinking. Oh, you thinking all the way down. This is one man. Dad dog right there. <laughs> He's a dog. He is that man. The man, the confidence he kept the whole way through. He took down every single one of them. I'm in shock. Like, this might be the ultimate underdog story. Just survival. He was smart. We've watched some underdog stories, too, now. I mean, here, it's not a Lord of the Rings underdog, but this homeboy here needs his tail whoop. This reporter. I cannot believe they survived. Heck, LAPD better get the man a job and come be with his woman. He better he be head of the whole department. <laughs> he needs like a real special chair too behind his desk. No, oh, he finally gets to meet him. Oh. This guy he's been talking to mm. the whole time. <laughs> that is sweet. Uh, that is a friendship. That relief. Friendship and bond forever right there. Oh, how did you know? Yeah. <laughs> They're back together. Good man. You take good care of them. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. If he don't go somewhere. Property damage interfering with police business. Oh. Oh no. 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 Mmm. <laughs> don't tell me who it was. He said button. he would never. He said he was scared to ever pull his gun out again. <laughs> he saved him. You did it, Al. You're more than your mistake. <laughs> oh God. I can't believe he played a role in this at all. Uh, three fourths of the time he didn't know what was even going on. He's most of the time partying yeah. with a teddy bear in the limo. Look back there taking little shots. <laughs> now that it's all over after this incredible ordeal, what are your feelings? Yes. yes she knew. Yes. She's seen it. <laughs> Thank you, Miss McLean. He is not giving him his ride finally. I'm done. I can't. I'm I'm Argyle waited around now. That's I'm, a little I'm mess with, I mess with Argyle. Hey, he a rider. He's stuck there. Oh, well, I guess he had no choice, but. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All the weather outside is bright. Oh, okay. Here's the Christmas element. <laughs> let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, that was wow. so darn good. <laughs> and to end the debate, I mean, it was kind of a Christmas movie. It's not it, a Christmas movie. Are you really on that side? It took place on Christmas Eve. They were having a Christmas party. The kids wanted Dad to come home for Christmas. A little bit of Christmas. I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence. But overall, 
it was a great stinking movie, action packed. So yeah, y'all got me on board with that one. Okay, so there's supposed to be like twelve days of Christmas, not twelve people mm. die on Christmas, and he killed twelve. He's people. a bad man. Like, He's a to, bad man. To me, other than the setting, no, it's not Christmas, but that really doesn't matter because the fact that this movie was so good kind of overshadowed any argument there was around any of it. It was fantastic. No doubt about it. But I wouldn't normally, but I'm gonna compliment the bad guy, the Hans dude. Like brilliant. That's I'm a sad thing. It's like brilliant. when you don't want to say like brilliant. Like like he said right there at the end. You know they won't come looking for you if they think that you're dead. That's why he, he was, had everything so well planned out. But the, that, to a T. But then this little this cop who had two mm. just kind of walked into a situation, mm. no shoes on, is thrown into it and was able to foil all of it. Oh my Because how much of a bad day he was, and then his lines. The things he would say, he was so confident and cocky, and it was just so nice because I hated Hans. No, you no doubt about it. But Hans was—he was like one step ahead of all the policemen in the FBI. <laughs> it, it, it was crazy, but the movie by itself was so so good. And like the the guy Ellis, he got himself killed. I don't care what nobody say. Dude got himself I, killed. I, he was trying so to go annoying. in there and be Mister Big Shot Negotiator. Yeah, but the relationship between him and Al just developing over it was the, so so cute. Yeah, the, the walkie talkie yeah. was so so cool. But like on our screen, it shows us there's a Die Hard too. But that kind of like makes my heart hurt because it's like it looks like it's the same guy, but it's like going through that twice. Are you kidding me? Does the guy right? not gonna get a break? I don't know if I can handle that. But I'm gonna be done going to my wife's Christmas no, parties. What we kind hey, of Christmas parties are you throwing? But and, and the fact that this took place, like you know, at a Christmas party on Christmas Eve, the fact fact that he saved all these people that weren't gonna get saved, man. This was just a really, really cool movie. Like you said, it kind of like the whole way through. I was just like into it. So the guy, obviously the head of the corporation, like they they said it was greed. He was stealing the money because that guy was had power and greed. But how do you get onto somebody for having power and greed when you're there to steal money? Right, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. There's a whole candle to me, mm. but uh, I like this was a really good suggestion. You guys, I'm glad that you <laughs> really hung tight with this one and suggested it all month. Bruce Willis played the role perfect too absolutely Man, i perfect. don't think i don't think that they could have found another better person mm. to play that role he was fantastic especially with the kind of like cocky confident mm. way that he had to have about him and the one-liners he was the able one-liners to yeah were nobody would have been able to do that but bruce willis and like amber said on the screen it popped up there is a die hard 2 drop down if y'all want to go die harder you die kidding me harder. no <laughs> <laughs> but guys, thank y'all so much. We hope you enjoyed your time here at the Rob Squad's uh, Home Theater with us. As we always send you out of here, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. Remember, every day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed no matter what the circumstances are. And for your new family members, hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome you guys to the movie reaction family. But y'all will go every day. And the same going to all of our channels. Let them know, Mom. Guys, you've got to make somebody smile. We love you guys. And we'll see y'all later.